Welcome once again to day three. Yippee! I'm excited that you made it this far. Now, if you have missed the first and the second day, we talked about turban making on day one. We talked about fascinator making on day two. So you can just go back to our post, our page on Instagram and Facebook or on YouTube to check out day one and day two. So today is all about day three and we are going to be talking about bridal accessory. Bridal accessory is a niche in headwear. It's a beautiful niche because this alone is enough for you to concentrate on because it's another world on its own. So we're talking about first bridal bouquet so bridal bouquet is the accessory that the bride holds in her hands and her bridesmaids and the flower girl and of course we have the round bouquet and then the cascading bouquet we have different types of bouquets but of course not too popular right here in the part of the world but if i in other country you can you will find out that there are other designs of bouquets that are trending but for we right here we have round bouquet and then the cascading bouquet or you can also call cascading bouquet waterfall bouquet which has the droppings in front of it it's really beautiful really really beautiful so secondly we are talking about head pieces now head pieces is adornment for the bright hair it can also be used on casual clothing as well for photo shoots and it's categorized into hair vines crowns and tiaras and also veil now these three beautiful categories right here have their own sub categories and sub designs under them that you can create and of course make a lot of money from let's talk about floral hoops floral hoop is a secular flower mostly used by bridesmaids to um make the bright big day very colorful and bright and it's mostly in wrist form like this like the secular type of um, flower it's trending and it's always very beautiful and you can have different types of floral hooks depending on your flower arrangement so now let's go to the materials and the tools that you can use to create beautiful bridal accessories in their categories let's talk about the materials you would need to create your bouquet and also your bridal hair pieces. So the first thing is your flowers. Of course, we all know that bridal bouquet is just an advanced day for bridal flowers, right? So you need flowers. But there are different types of flowers. So many of them are going to be sticking with just this few right here. The first one is the tulips. You need lilies. You can also use roses, which is the most common one. You can use bushes. You always need bushes for when it comes to bridal, okay? You need buttercup flowers. Now, these types of flowers, you can use them together or single. You can use them interchangeably as a mix to create your bouquet. You can use strictly one type of flower mixed with your bushes. Anyhow you want it, it's fine. So the second thing, you need your floral tape. Of course, you're going to be needing to wrap your stem. And of course, you need the floral tape. It's floral tape because it has natural green effects, which um, is unique to flowers, right? So the third thing, you need ribbons. You can use satin ribbons, any type of ribbons of the color, anyhow you want it. And of course, you need your um, crepe paper for wrapping. This list is inexhaustive. I'm just giving you the basics that you need so you can have an idea of what it is when it comes to bridal bouquet making. So let's go to bridal head pieces. Like I said earlier, there are different types of head pieces, but of course, to make any one at all, you're going to be needing your jewelry wire, you need your rhinestone. Rhinestones are expensive, they are luxurious, but of course, the outcome is always the cake beautiful and you can use crystals as well you can use your beads you can use alice band you need your wire cutter and any other thing that you desire as your headpiece embellishment so i hope that you have gotten value from this class and you have learned a thing or two because today i'm so excited right now is something that i love so so much because of um the outcome of the bouquet, the colors, the combination of flowers, and all of that. So that's a wrap on day three. I'll see you tomorrow when we talk about the next thing on the list.